believe that there is so much waste around here. And again, every time you get into, see, I'm the only guy that talks numbers. Mm -hmm. I love this. Nobody else will even talk about it. Like, I've said it's like a crazy ant in the basement. Everybody knows she's there, but nobody talks about her. I'm talking about it. Then I can talk, you know, with endless numbers about it. And then when I finish, typically the establishment press said, he didn't tell us enough. I just break up. Nobody else said anything, and I haven't said enough. Let me just talk in general terms today, since no matter how many numbers I give the press right now, it doesn't satisfy them. Number one, we cannot spend our children's money. Mm -hmm. We are looking on the edge of a revolution of young people who are starting to realize that we, our generation, have put them $4 trillion in debt, and they don't like it, and they shouldn't. Don't we love our children as much as our parents loved us? Sure we do. We cannot spend their money. Now then, that's the easy decision. The hard decision is how do you fix it? You've got to have, instead of a deteriorating job base in the economy, which is what the last 12 years have given us, we've got to have, first, you've got to stop the, the decline, stabilize it, turn it into a growing job base, growing industrial base. The only way to do that is to make the finest products in the world. Now, that's something I know a lot about. We've got to put everybody that's breathing back to work in a good, solid job. Then you've got a growing tax base. But in the meantime, you've got to have a real grab and run that stops the deficit spending. So you don't lose any more financial blood. <clears throat> then with a the growing tax base, you pay off $4 trillion, and we leave the American dream to our children, which we all want. Who run Barter Town? You know who. You know him. You love him. He's... Some of you have may no <laughs> Some of you may have noticed a different flag. Yes, it holds meaning. This is the flag I put up when I talk about people that if they see my video will most likely not appreciate what I have to say. <laughs> because we're all pirates out here. And you're easy prey and I will eat you. Now I've noticed quite a few new women in with the new subscribers. This isn't a bad thing. It's a fine thing. Um, I, 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 neither good nor bad to me. It's okay. It, it's what you guys make of it. So, um, but I, I've noticed more women. Now, it's been a while since I've made a video for the ladies. I'm doing that today uh, to kind of maybe uh, break in the new girl some. Now, some of you old gals that have been around for a while, uh, there may be some questions in the comments if you want to have fun answering them. <laughs> I will certainly have fun reading them. For you men, you might see a different side of me here today as well, too. Or, you might see a perfectly expected side of me. I don't know. Um, but uh, I would like to talk about Belle Delphine. And I would like to illustrate through words how I believe she is single-handedly creating the new generation of incels. And these ones are going to be nasty as fuck. Right? <sighs> Who the fuck is Belle Delphine? Belle Delphine, this bitch. She's a cute girl. Uh, and, and, yeah, that's it. That's really it, all I know. Um, I mean, I, she, I, she's a Twitter, she's a Twitch thought. Right? So, she's a gamer girl. I don't know if she actually games. Uh, honestly, I kind of doubt it. But nevertheless, she's a gamer girl. She advertises herself as a gamer girl. These things often don't matter. You'll find out with her why in a minute. <clears throat> so she may be a gamer girl. May not. I don't know. She is a cosplay chick. Which is what immediately makes me think she's not a gamer girl. She's a gamer girl in so much as she likes the fashion of it. Right? That's kind of where most of the cosplay chicks are. 
They'll fight fiercely that they're gamer girls, and they'll tell you about all manner of Connect 3 games they play on their phone. That does not make you a gamer in so much as most gamers would do anything but spit on you. You're like the lowest class of gamer if that's really your hardcore go-to match three games. Nevertheless, uh, uh, they love the fashion of it, which is fine. You can say I am a fan of game fashion. Don't care about that. That doesn't make you a gamer unless you're playing the fucking games. Anyways. So, whatever. She's a Twitch star. And apparently this girl makes like $154,000 a month through Patreon. Now, God bless her, man. I, I've said this a million times. I will continue to say this. I will never begrudge somebody their hustle so long as they are willing to admit it is a hustle. Right? Now, I don't consider hustling people and then kind of laughing at them being upset as really so much as admitting your hustle. Right? Especially when you just go right back into hustling right after you've done it. It's kind of like stealing money from people, smacking them in the face for it, and then just going back to having your hand in their pocket, taking more money. Like, I don't know. It, I'm very conflicted about this. This is probably about the 53rd iteration of this video that I've had run through my head. So, I'm not entirely sure exactly what you're going to get. But, I will say this. I find it... I find it difficult to entirely blame the guys. Um, she's targeting a young audience. Think of that what you will. I'm saying the fucking words. She's targeting a young audience. She's targeting a uh, preteen, teen, and skeevy adult. Right? She's targeting a young audience. And these kids are stupid. And they are not... How do I put this? They are not chemically balanced enough to have even a reasonable defense against somebody who is willing to weaponize sexuality against them. It's like getting a girl drunk and then raping her to me. These kids' brains are full of all manner of hormones that make them fucking retarded. It's, a, it's, a, it's really an across-board thing. I've met some extraordinarily smart kids when I was in high school. Guys that were, you know, the top percent of the class, that kind of shit. I, you know, I, I knew those people, <laughs> right? Like, I, I went to school with them. So, you know, I, I knew those kids, and they were terribly inept with women. And these girls would get them to do anything just for the kicks, just because they could. And these guys, the smartest people you could... Uh, motherfuckers that were talking over my head when I was 18. Like, this is these were some next-level motherfuckers. And these girls were using them shamelessly. <laughs> so it's not an intelligence thing. It's a chemical thing. We're weak to you at those times, right? That's when you guys are supposed to be tricking us into marrying you, or at least getting along that way, so that then when we find out what assholes you are, we're stuck. Like that's, you know, that's what you guys are supposed to be doing. Now, you guys are just, you know, getting online and using them for money. And, you know, I don't, if she just wanted to get on her IRL stream and just sit there and be cute and have dummies pay her, whatever. But she's encouraging them to pay her in some of the dumbest fucking ways. One way 
which I honestly think is is I don't I don't even know what I think about this entirely. So here we go. She she I don't know she put up some sort of fucking Twitter thing or something like that. If if this picture gets a million likes, then I will start Pornhub. So picture gets two million likes, close enough it doesn't even matter. And uh, she starts Pornhub. The the videos are all titled very provocatively. The videos are not all that great. <laughs> These guys are pissed. They're sending messages. Pissed. Now, did she say she was going to post porn videos? No. Is the implication that she's going to post porn videos? Yes. <laughs> Is it misleading at least? Yes. So why am I so confused? Why are the guys upset? I gotta be honest with you. She led you to the source. You really that pissed you couldn't jerk off to her? You've been jerking off to her clothes and just looking fucking cute and stupid this whole time like that. Right? And not only that, you're now on Pornhub. Is your thing really skinny tiny tit bitches? Because all you have to do is search skinny tiny tit bitches and billions of fucking hits will come up. And most of them will be cuter than her. Most of them will also have better bodies than her. And all of them will do far nastier things than her. So, it's fair to say she has these idiots wrapped around her finger which to me just leads me to believe that there is a form of coercion in there I don't watch her but I don't because I could give a fuck less about watching twitch thoughts I have vastly better things to do with my time and far better things to masturbate to so I don't bother with them I've never seen it but I cannot imagine that her Twitch stream is just her sitting there looking cute, playing video games. I don't buy it. She's talking to the crowd. What's she telling them? These are my questions. How manipulative is this getting? Because I gotta tell you, I've read some of the comments of people upset about her videos. <clears throat> They're embarrassing in so very many ways. Mainly because I never talked like that when I was 12. What in the fuck are you doing? You're making us look bad. And secondly, <laughs> you're on Pornhub. You could have masturbated in the time it took you to leave that fucking message. What are you doing with yourself? What? What? Uh. <sighs> Nevertheless, these guys are pissed. Right? So what does she do? She sells them jars of water. She says it's bath water. She did a video of her in a bathing suit in a bathtub filling the jars with water. She sold them for 30 bucks a pop. I think the only reason that she sold them for 30 bucks a pop is because anything even more would have even made her dark black heart hurt. Just saying. 
at the very least, I, I can certainly say I believe that she is being very manipulative. I can also say that these guys are being extraordinarily fucking retarded. And I don't get it. You want to know how long it took for me to find naked pictures of this girl online? Five seconds. Because I know how to spell her name. I know how to spell the word nude. Wait. Motherfuckers are paying a hundred dollars a month to be on her Instagram so that they can see her in slutty pictures. But I know how to spell one word. And I get it all for free. Like, here's what I understand about men these days. Why are you paying for porn? Why, why are you paying for porn? <laughs> Everything that is online is online for free. Everything. Everything that is online is online for free. That's why I don't bother to charge for this shit. Because somebody will rip it and download it. It's online for free. I've already even seen sites with my videos. And this has been up for years now. I've seen sites that hot link my videos. And they run promotions and ads and shit. And I get none of that. So, everything that is on the internet is online for free. I don't understand why people pay for almost anything anymore. <laughs> it really, really just boggles my goddamn mind. But whatever. Like, if you want a jar of, of holy blessed stuff, Bell Delphine fucking water. You get a jar, put water in it, write her name on it. Go, there's my Bell Delphine fucking water. I'm gonna piss in this for you guys and say, yeah, it's my Bell Delphine water. Fucking. Where the problem comes from is this. Right? The problem is, is. She is scamming these guys to them. They've paid money because they have purchased something that is being advertised to them. It is being advertised in such a way as to lead them on. They pay for it, find it to not be what they thought they were purchasing. Now, buyer beware has always been a thing in my mind. But these people are not raised that way. Remember, everybody these days is very special. Everybody these days is very entitled. And I can understand how if you would spend $100 on something, you might feel entitled for the thing that you thought you were purchasing. <laughs> Just saying. Whatever. So these guys are upset. They're wicked fucking pissed. What do you think happens? Do you think that they, they, you know, somebody comes up to him and goes, well, you're fucking stupid. And then they go, oh, yeah, I guess I was dumb. And then that, that's just it. No. Mm. You're living in the modern age. You now have things like MGTOW and incels out there, right? And it always starts with one and goes to the other. Because it's you know, gateway drug, however you want to look at it. You start talking about how fuck, just fuck bitches, I ain't playing the game anymore, I'm done with it. I'm just not bothering with it. I don't want to bother with it. No. And then that turns into fuck, like, and then it's just this angry thing, right? Because no matter what, we are genetically engineered to still keep trying. Just the way we are. It's a difficult thing to break you know, genetic conditioning. Uh, not all of us can do it. Some of us still have trouble from time to time. Nevertheless. We're drawn to you ladies. We are. And it's that, whatever the fuck it is, that thing where it's like, 80% uh, uh, of women are attractive to 100% of men. 
but 100% of women or like 80% of women are only attracted to 10% of men, something like that. Like it's the men at the top, it's the hierarchy thing, right? Uh, that's that's a genetic conditioning thing too. You ladies are always going to be like that. You're always going to want the bigger, better deal. It's just how you are. Because back in ye olden days when we had things to worry about like animals that would just, you know, eat your children randomly, you know, you wanted to have a guy that could kill that animal before it would eat your children. And he, he couldn't just whip out his fucking AK and mow the motherfucker down, right? This was when the gun ban was on, hardcore. We didn't have him at all. So, you know, all we had was, like, stones that we would tie to sticks. And that was what we used to defend our families. You wanted to have that 20% of men make it through. Because those were the motherfuckers that were going to survive. <laughs> right? The 80% of men that didn't meet muster? Yeah, there's a little gray area in there. At least 70% of them. Yeah. Your genes weren't strong enough to carry us through to the point where we are today. Right? So, yeah. It was necessary at one time. It isn't necessary anymore. But nevertheless, it is still there. However... Those of you ladies who decide to pray, and I don't think that's too strong a term, pray on the lower 30%, right, the lowest of us in the hierarchy, those of you who prey on them to just fund your lifestyle, whatever the hell it is you want it to be that day, you know, that, that shit bugs me. Because then I read articles about how this chick isn't preying on men. Which, I'm telling you, if it was a guy doing this shit. Right? Nevertheless, they talk about how she's so genius. This is such great performance art. Fuck these guys. They're just in cells anyways. Guess what? Well, now they are. You've now labeled them. And now they're going to look that up. And they're going to find out that it's guys who feel exactly the way they do in that moment. But, like, they feel it all the time. So, they're going to be talking to these guys now. And in the moment, their thoughts are going to gel completely with them. <clears throat> and... That's how you radicalize a generation of fucking retarded boys. You give them a reason. You give them a damn good reason. You lead them on with the promise of pussy. They can't resist. They give everything up. And then you fucking rip the carpet out from underneath them. That's how we get this way. <laughs> Like, I, I just, I take a, a, a higher path with it myself. I don't really consider myself part of any group. Just ever. People like to label me, so whatever. You do, do that as your pleasure. But I, I just don't care. Like, I'm at the point now where... I find most women I run into these days to just be off-putting. I find women to be extraordinarily arrogant and entitled. This isn't because this is just how I decided to see them. This is what they have shown me to be. So I see most women as very arrogant and entitled. As soon as that starts to show, which doesn't take very long, I immediately begin to get annoyed get annoyed because it's like wow I used to like you when you, you uh, I used to like you when you were pretending to be a normal person now I'm seeing who you are don't like you anymore it annoys me it just does but all of you continue to do it and then when I get asked about it 
I'm very honest about it. Shit annoys me. And then I get essentially blamed for being annoyed. I got a great story. I was sitting in my buddy's bar. I, I, I loved going in there because there was almost never anybody in there. <laughs> I mean, he hates when I, every time I'd go in there, I'd be like, hey, Tommy, you know I love your bar, man. And he'd be like, really? And I'd be like, yeah, there's never anybody in here. <laughs> he hated that shit. But, you know, it, it, it just, it wasn't doing well. There were nights where it did good. I didn't go in there those nights. I didn't just go in on the weekdays. Because I'd go there to grab some dinner, because I loved the food that he made. And then, you know, watch some TV. I'd go home. That's all I wanted to do. Chat with my boy. Um, one time I'm sitting there just eating my food, watching TV. Drunk girl snacked to me. And I looked at her. I smiled. I nodded. You know, went back to watching TV. <clears throat> she starts talking to me. I'm kind of, you know, I'm being polite. <clears throat> but I'm not engaging. Because I didn't want to have a conversation with her. I didn't want to talk to drunk girl. I wasn't drunk myself. And I wasn't interested. I wanted to watch TV, eat my food, go home. So, you know, as I'm kind of trying to give her the signal to go the fuck away, um, she calls me out for giving her the signal to go the fuck away. Do you not want to talk to me? Jesus Christ, I want to have a cigarette now just thinking about this shit. It's something that girls do a lot. It's that arrogance. <laughs> it's kind of like men. It's kind of like if a dude were to look at you and go, what are you, some kind of fucking asshole? <laughs> right? Like, it's not polite. And you're not going to get like, the only response that's going to come from that is escalation. It's a dick thing to do, because you know where you're pushing it. Right? Women just feel, well, I'm asking a question. Do you want me to go? Right? Because they're so certain that you're going to be like, no, of course I don't want you to go. I want to talk to you, because you're so awesome. But when you look at them and go... Yeah, I, I just kind of wanted to watch TV and have, you know, eat my food, and then I was going to go. Right? I'm not here for conversation. What are you, gay? <laughs> no, but you're not as attractive as you think you are this drunk. So, right? And it went from there. Tommy, God love him. I've trained him well. He knows that when a girl starts talking to me, to just give me my check. <laughs> so before I got too far, Tommy just comes up, gives me my check, I give him my card, right? She's just yelling at me at this point as I'm paying, and I just go. Because, <laughs> like, at that point, you know, I'm just done. I'm not going to bother. Right? And I get that a lot from women. And then I hear about how women complain about when men get rejected. It makes me laugh. You guys just aren't used to it. <laughs> a lot of guys aren't either. And it's not right what they do either. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I've been, I've rejected gay guys. And they've taken it better than every woman I've ever turned down. So, I don't know if gay guys are like special guys in, in every fucking possible conceivable way, or if they just deal better with being told no from me, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Girls don't take it so terribly well. Um, I didn't get hit that time, which was good for her. I wasn't in a mood of being hit. I don't get along well with women. It just, it doesn't happen with me. And I see this kind of shit, and I see a whole lot of me in these guys. And I see a whole lot of my present and their future. And, and, it just, it rings so hollow when 
the same uh, journalists write these articles about how toxic masculinity is the reason why men are so evil and, and horrible. And then they write articles about how this bitch is so brilliant and wonderful and fuck those guys who are upset. They're just incels anyways. And it's like you're perpetuating your problem. Your problem is, is that men are getting to a point now where they're starting to tell you off. We're fed up. We're not taking it anymore. You all raised us to get in touch with our feelings and tell people what we're feeling in the moment. Guess what? Sometimes that shit hurts to hear. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, I think the dismissal is funny, right? I, I just think the whole situation is just fucking so stupid and twisted to me. The whole thing of it. It's like nobody considers the ramifications of their actions. And I'm looking at a lot of lost young boys out there who have no good stable male figures in their life. And I just think that's kind of textbook psychology. And they're, you know, so desperate. So desperate that they can't even jerk off to the naked girls that are one click away from them. I don't know, man. Like, I almost want to join a Big Brother program so that I can just be around young boys and be like, listen, don't, man, <laughs> try and demystify bitches for them. But I don't think I would last very long. My parents would probably have a problem with it. I'm not saying they wouldn't be right for it. I, I, I don't want to be around your kids any more than you want me around your kids, believe me. But, like, it's just, the, it's the... The whole thing just drives me nuts. Uh, like, I, I don't know if I just think deeper or see see into the future. Maybe that's what it is. I just see into the future. And all I see is, is these fucking kids getting amped up by this chick only to be let down. And then they're turned into people who are pissed off at her about this. And they just go down the rabbit hole. And then it becomes a problem. And then what happens? These same dumb bitches complaining about how these guys are so nasty to them. We're doomed.